Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Taurus? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this reading, I hope everyone is staying safe. I love you guys. How are y'all doing? Please make sure you like my, my um, videos and share it for me so it can evolve around YouTube. I really appreciate it. Also, new viewers, cross watches, how are y'all doing? Please come on in, take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Reverse the roles. How they fit in your life. It's okay to reverse the roles, okay? I don't know your life. I may tap into it, but I don't know it, all right? So I need you to stay with me because there are lessons, blessings, and confirmations in all of my readings, okay? So we're getting ready to get started, Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to see where your energy is at, Taurus. I don't know how you're feeling on this day. But uh, we're going to find out. Spirit, guys, divine universe, I ask you to come into this reading. I ask you to give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I need your divine protection. So it's two cards that fail right here. So I got sadness here and I got no success. You got the success in the, re in the reverse. So some of you are very sad. Something did not work out. Something was not a success for you. Something was not a success for you. Spirit guys, tell me more about this energy. So yeah, frustration. Something did not work out for you. Okay. Whatever it was, there was no success and it didn't fit. And you're, up, you're, you're sad about it. And Spirit guys is telling me with this frustration card. You're, uh, you're upset, you're sad because it did not work out. But Spirit Guides is, said, is saying that... Oh, something on my... It wasn't supposed to work out. It wasn't for you. Okay? It wasn't for you. It, that, that, either a connection, he or she was not the one. Or if this is a, a career that you may have wanted a job, it was not it. You didn't see what universe God saw. It's what spirit God is telling me. Creativity is here. It's like it could have been something that you were very creative uh, it's, it's like something that you uh, worked very hard to try to create, to produce. And you got frustrated about it. It, it. it did not become a success. But Spirit Guides have said, that's not where you stop. That's not where you stop. Uh, Spirit Guides are showing me a drawing board. Go back to the drawing board. There's a bird too. Go back to the drawing board. Uh, recalculate, revalue, whatever this is, whatever your creativity that has caused you sadness that you feel as though that, I mean, that you know that you was no success. That spirit said, go back, go back and tweak, twerk, go back in. Yeah, it's, it's showing me that. Go back and tweak and twerk, go back to the drawing board. Uh, just because it didn't work out, spirit God said, I need you to keep going. I need you to keep on because you're going to find it. You're going to find, you're going to find it. You're going to find you. Yes, you're going to find the success in it. You, it's, you're going to get, uh, Spirit Guides is showing me, you're going to get a, you're going to have an epiphany. Tell me more, Spirit, for the energy. You're going to have a, an epiphany. Spirit Guides. Go back to the drawing board. Yeah. Go back to the drawing board. Intuition. You got caution here. Like I told you before, it wasn't supposed to work. And your intuition was telling you this. Because it's clarifying no success. I feel like your, your intuition was telling you this. You knew this. You knew it wasn't going to work. But spirit guys, uh, God is telling me that it wasn't never supposed to work. It was never going to fit. I feel like you was trying to, spirit guys is showing me you were trying to force something that wasn't working. 
whether this is a project you was working on. That's not it. It, it keeps uh, spirit guys keep taking me back to a drawing board. Go back to the drawing board. Proofread whatever it is, whatever it is, is if this is your creation, if this is your creativity, go back to the drawing board. I need you to twerk it. I need you to go back and re analyze what this was that you've done. Yeah, you have abundance here. Abundance is in is in your energy. OK, I feel like you got the magic in the reverse. I feel like a manipulation is here. I feel like the reason why this, whatever this is, uh, it's going to be different for everybody. Take what resonates. Please don't try to force something. If it does not resonate, don't take it. But I feel like magic manipulation was in, was in progress in this energy. Uh, that's why it was never going to work because whoever this was, if this was a relationship, a connection that you were in, it was manipulation from the door, from the start, from the beginning. From from the beginning. Also, if this is dealing with a career, your your career, your your business or whatever, you may have had someone that was manipulating you. Um, yeah, that part. Spirit guys tell me take these cards here. But I see abundance in your energy. At the bottom of this deck is trust, Taurus. Yeah, I see. I feel like some of you see the light. Spirit guys, tell me more about this energy. Go within your intuition. What it, the success is here. Okay. You didn't have success from this, but go within your intuition. Go within. Trust your gut. Trust your gut. I feel like some of you did trust your gut. But it makes you sad because you really wanted this to work. You really wanted this. You really worked on this. If this is uh, something you was working on, you really worked on this and it did not pan out. Spirit God has said, don't stop there. Keep going. Go back to the drawing board. Okay, if this pertaining to a relationship, uh, Spirit God said it was never going to fit. It was never going to work. Because from the, from the gate, from the gate, this person was manipulative. From the gate. And also spirit guides are showing me that uh, with this go within and intuition, you knew it wasn't going to work. But for some reason you were sad about it because you really. Hold on. You really thought this was. You and this person was going to work out. Tell me more for the energy. Spirit guides, tell me more for the energy. Trust. Tell me more. Yeah, it's all in divine timing, sweetheart, sir. It's all in divine timing. Yeah, lover. Definitely got something to do with somebody you love. Look at here. Divine timing is at play here, which tells me that it was never going to work. It was never going to work. I, f I feel like you felt like this person that you met, that you had the strongest chemistry together, that, you're con that you just connected very strongly and you really thought this was the person for you. But in your intuition, okay, going within, your intuition was telling you that something wasn't right, that this wasn't going to be successful. I feel like with this creativity, like I said, if it's not with a job, it's not with something you're creating, going back to the drawing board, I feel like your light bulb did come on. And you realize this. That's what made you sad. That's what made you very sad. But Spirit Guide said in due time, in time, in due season. There's in due time, due season, due, divine timing, due, due time, time, in time, out of time, in time, due time, divine time, time, clock, time. Divine time and the real person will come and bring you abundance. There will be abundance in your life. But this was not, the person was never intended to be in your life. Spirit guys, what is this reading about for Taurus? 
because you're the high priestess. You are the high priestess, Taurus. That's why. You can't get nothing over on the high priestess. I feel as though that even though it frustrated you that this connection did not work, this loving, con this connection that you thought was going to be for you. That's what frustrates you the most because you can see things. You can almost foresee things before they happen. You can almost catch the red flags instantly when you meet someone. And it makes you sad because it's like, I know this ain't going to work. I know it because you're a high priestess and you are very strongly intuitive. You're very in tune with your higher self. And without them realizing that you know that the words that they may have said, you already know, knew within the first, second, third, maybe third day, fourth day of knowing this person that they... And that's what hurts you because you are, you have a gift that you can't get away from. You have a gift of discerning that you know that this person wasn't, wasn't, wasn't for you. But because you have sat and waited so patiently for the right one, you really thought this was the right one that came towards you. What frustrates you the most is that it's almost like Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy. I know I'm a high priestess. I know I'm an empress. But why is it that every time I think I have an inkling, inkling of someone to commit to my life and I want that love, that it dissipates? I have a gift of already knowing it and it does depress me at times because I already foresee it. Even when the opposite person does not see it, I already see that it's not going to be a success. It's not. But it makes me sad. It's, it makes me sad sometimes, Miss Positive Thoughts and Energy, because it's like, I don't, why is it that I don't deserve love? Why is it that the right person can't be honest, loyal to, be honest and loyal to me? Can bring, why is that the person can't bring the same energy that I'm bringing? Why is it that it always have to be altern alternative motive? Why is it that their intentions has to always be something? I ask myself. And it does. It frustrates you and you can't help that you're a high priestess or an empress. You can't help that you know who you are and you stand and you work very hard to become the, your higher self and, be, and to become the empress that you are. You become that because let me tell you something. Sweetheart, sir, you went through a lot of pain. You, you've been in, you have endured a lot in your life. And you finally learned, you did the work, you did the healing, and you come too far to go back and allow someone to manipulate you. So now you stand in your power because you can't help who you are. You are a high priestess. You are very strongly, strongly in tune with yourself and your surroundings. And it frustrates you because you already sometimes pinpoint say, oh, he ain't the one, up. Oh, she ain't the one up. Oh, it ain't going to work up. Oh, he ain't going to work up. Oh, that ain't going to work up. Oh, you already, you already spotted. Even when they keep going, you already spotted. You just, I feel like you just wait for them to hang themselves, but it also saddens you because you know, why is it that what I want can't work out for me? So you have to wait patiently. You have to wait divine and timing. I really feel, honestly, Taurus, that you're being put to test. Spirit guys is saying, I understand it get frustrated. You almost, I hear some of you saying, I'd just, just rather not even date, not talk to anybody at all. But you know what? It's okay that you have that mentality. It's all right. It's okay that you have that mentality. But at the same time, don't build a wall around your heart only a fence because when you build a wall you can't see what's coming and you definitely ain't gonna give out when you have a fence at least you can see what's coming and you can go ahead and dissipate that and come out of it see see your intuition your higher self your intuition that inner knowing that is your weapon that cannot form against you do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Your intuition is a is your weapon that no one can form against you. Okay? All right? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It may try to come against you. This person's intentions may have worked for a very short period of time, but it will not form. 
So take your intuition, this gift that you have, Taurus, and use it as that is your weapon. That is your weapon that no weapon of try to form against you will prosper. That is your defense. But spirit guys, God says, do not put a wall around your heart. Just instead, put a fence around it. When you put a fence around it, you can see what's coming at you. And yes, you have that discerning to, yeah, it, it cannot come against you. You, 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 you're stopping it before it comes. So I know it gets frustrating. I know it makes you mad because it doesn't work. It doesn't fit. It was never going to work. But spirit guys, divine God wants you to wanted to see if you can recognize it. And you did. And you did. That part, you did. You recognized it. But it also makes you sad and frustrated. Because why I got to keep going through these processes? Why I got to keep going through these, through these tests? Why can't the right one come? Because God universe is, is paving the way with these tests, with the ones that are not for you. For, so, when you can, so that you can identify the one that's for you. That's why. So you'll be able to distinguish between the two. Between what's coming against you and what's coming at you for your good. I'm just saying. So the tower is here. The tower had to come down. It had to, it, it, it had to go. You understand? It, it had to fall apart. I told you in the beginning, it was, it was not, it was never going to work. It was never going to work because of this person's intentions. This person did not realize that they was dealing with a high priestess, a very gifted, high spiritual, high vibrational being. So the tower is here. The tower came tumbling down on this situation. It was never going to work. You knew that from the beginning. But you are the type of person that you give a person the benefit of the doubt. So therefore, when you give a person the benefit of the doubt, you go ahead and you say, you know what? I'm just going to see. But I feel like for some of you, you knew this was it. You knew that you, even though the chemistry, even though the connection that you seen between you two, uh, it may have been sex, it may have been whatever it was, the, the mentality, the mental stimulation, the conversation, the mental stimulation, it, it felt good, it felt right, but you knew something just wasn't right. So therefore you find yourself sitting in, okay, I guess, I guess, yeah, that wasn't the one. Yeah, that wasn't the one. Yeah, he wasn't the one. She wasn't the one. Okay, well, all right, God. All right, universe, spirit team. All right, I'm going to wait for your divine timing because this person was manipulating you. Yeah, yeah. Spirit guys, tell me more. Queen of Swords. You know it. <laughs> you already know it. <laughs> you already know it wasn't going to work, but it frustrates you and it saddens you because of how people have those uh, 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 alternative motives. Alternative motives. I'm trying to get it out. Their intentions. See, you are a person that you give a person the benefit of the doubt. You see, you see how the one hand is down, but the other, the sword is in the other hand. You give a person the benefit of the doubt. You okay? I'll go along with you. I'm, a, I'm 19, 19 just came up on my screen. I'm gonna go with the flow with this person. But in in your back of your mind, in your intuitive self, in your discerning spirit, you already know what this person's intentions are. So you get one hand down like, okay, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay, I'm going to listen. I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to see, but I already know how it's going to go because you already peaked the game, but it frustrates you and saddens you is that uh, 
Why you got to keep going through these loops to get to the right person? I don't get it, Miss Boston Thoughts and Energy. I don't get it. I understand it, but I don't get it. If I'm my higher self, why am I still being tested? If I'm my higher self, if I'm in tune with my higher self, if I'm an empress or the emperor, why am I constantly being tested? Because we are in a human body experiencing human things. I feel like what Spirit Guides is telling me to keep you on your toes. <laughs> That's what just came into my energy. Spirit Guides, God said to keep you on your toes. I need you to stay on your toes because once we get comfortable, uh, it, it has to be. And, and sometimes, you know, does that mean if somebody's coming in with a, 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 a bad intentions towards you? No. Uh, is it that when somebody comes into your life and, and, and they're manipulated? Maybe this is someone that you're you're actually talking to or just met that they're trying to understand themselves. Some of them can be a new spiritual journey and they're trying to figure it all out. But Spirit Guys is trying to keep you on your toes. Spirit Guys is trying to keep you on your toes, Taurus. But it's like I said, you listen, you watch, you're very intuitive, but that sword, you don't play. You don't play. You'll cut them off without reason. When you peep the game and you already know, it saddens you, but you already cut them off. You already know, you already know what it is before it even gets started good. That's how intuitive you are. It was cautioning you about this magic, about this manipulation that this person intentions was. You already knew it was no success. You already knew it. You already went in thin. You already went within. <laughs> you already went within your light and knew that this person, this situation was not for you. <laughs> you just let it play itself out until the tower came. The tower came and knocked this, knocked this situation, knocked this person out of your life. Destruction, destruction. So that puts you in the energy of waiting on something else to come through. I feel like you're saying, yeah, I just... I just wait. <laughs> That's what I see some of you with your hand on your face. I'll just wait for divine timing. Yep, that wasn't your wish fulfillment. Hey, this person wasn't supposed to be in your life. So your cutoff game, Ace of Swords, cut off strong. Deciding to take another leap of faith because this was not the one. It was when you started seeing the fighting, the little nitpicks, the little little signs of fight, little nitpick arguing over simple things, little little small things. You say this ain't the one because let me tell you something: when God, universe, bring you two together, there is no uh, there is no confliction. You may have disagreements, but there's no conflict, no conflictions. So you had to re release this. And go to, because look at here. <laughs> go towards something that you see your future. See, you're empress. You're very successful. Got a lot going for yourself. You know your worth, honey. You stand your ground. You set boundaries. You know what you're, you know who you want in your future. You want, you want, yeah, you want this type, someone that's going to invest, that's going to love you like you're supposed to be loved. And if that means that, uh, Miss Pazitowski Energy, if I got to continue to be tested to stay on my toes, okay, until uh, uh, the right one come along, then I'll just, yeah, you know, I have no choice. I have to wait for divine timing. Tell me more. Yeah, strength, courage. I have to wait on divine timing. Because you are confident. You know, you know who you are. And you are very patient. So, this person had to be left out in the cold. It's 
So you continue to focus on your work. Eight of Pentacles. Focus on your work, paying attention to great details. Just staying, staying in your good karma. Staying in your good karma, Justice. Staying in your good karma. Staying in your good karma. Yeah. See, you got the four of wands and you get the knight of wands. You got the changes coming into your life very fast, 11, 11. Changes. You're going to get, you're going to, you're going to get married. Okay. You're going to get married. Okay. Changes is happening in your life. Some of you are going to get that house. Okay. Things are starting to pick up in your life. You want marriage. This person could have been the knight of wands, you know, hot, cold, in, out. Be careful. They're ready to spin the block. Stand in your truth even when you know that you are being protected. Because you are indeed the queen. You sit. You don't chase. You attract. I am Positosi Energy Taurus. Until next time.